Well, today's video is going to be about repairs, breakdowns, what's next? How can so much bad luck happen to one couple? Well, here it goes again. Well, I got my helpers out here today. And look, part of a Dodge. Well, I told you earlier I'd tell you what's wrong. Although I put brand new brakes on here, I thought maybe they were worn out. So I wanted to check them out. We even put a brand new rotor, everything on there last time, not long ago. So we're gonna pull the wheel like I just did and then That ain't good at all. Or it is good. The brake's okay. That brake is okay. I don't know what's squeaking. Might as well shut that off because that ain't ever going to go. Well, as you can see, we took the brakes off. It was not the brakes. They were good. I don't know if you can see under here or not. Let's see if we can zoom in. So. We greased those up, took it for a drive today, and the squeak had changed nothing at all when the brakes were on. So I'm assuming need a little grease in them. And we're going to give that a drive and see if that gets rid of the squeak. And if that doesn't, we just move on to the next. Whatever it is, I have no clue. So anyway, that's what we did so far. See if we, we'll get her figured out. We'll get her figured out. Well, I'm using the GoPro. I'm underneath the truck. Don't know what, if you can see this or not, but I've tried to grease this one. I can't get a grease. The grease gun in there even smashed the grease uh, nozzle a little bit to try to get it in there, but I can't do it. Uh, so, hold my hands there. Anyway, uh, I can't get that one, but we did grease the back one, and then a lot of grease came out. I don't know if you can see it or not, because I can't see what I'm looking at. But right there, there's grease came out of all the deals, so that one's greased. And I pumped a lot of grease, but most of it went around. You know how it what goes. It don't go into where it's supposed to if you can't get that deal on there. I think they make a little tool that might be able to go on there. But I got my new grease gun here, like I said, and uh, it won't work, I don't think. So I'm going to have all this pulled out. They got to change, work on the transmission again anyway. Uh, if I can't find a tool to get in there, once they pull this out, they can probably grease that. Uh, they'll have to pull the drive line out to move the transmission back again. So that's. That's where I'm stuck right now. I'm going to see what other places I can grease and go from there. Go check all that up there. I can't put anything on Facebook anymore. Not for three days. Because they kicked me off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't even make a, a joke on Facebook anymore. People take it all seriously. So, anyway, let's get uh, working on whatever's next on this thing here. See if we can get her fixed up. Talking about the squeak, uh, here's how it works. It don't squeak when it's cold. When I first started up, I take it for a drive. I can drive miles. No squeak. And then, all of a sudden, it squeaks a little. Then it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> I brought it home, jacked up the back end. Put it in gear, no squeaks. Now you would think, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Because it didn't squeak when the back wheels were off the ground and they were turning, no squeaks. And I know it's drivetrain related. There's no doubt in my mind that. So, no squeaks there. I pulled it up, put it up, took it off the jacks, and then we put, uh, I jacked up the front on the other side check the, check the uh, wheel bearing by just grabbing the tire and shaking it back and forth and there's a little bit of play but it's the same amount of play it's been in that thing for years 
and I've already placed it once. So I might jack this side up and see if there's any play in it, see if it's the same, and it's not, it's barely noticeable. But if you know your truck, you would notice that. So we're still working on that project, as I speak. Well, here we are again, working on the Dodge. Okay, uh, earlier this month, I put a deal in here. A deal, I always say that too much. I put a video on here describing all the problems we're having with this Dodge and the squeak. Well, I got all kinds of uh, suggestions, and I try every one of them. Now, today I just greased, uh, not greased, but uh, I WD-40'd the idler belt, idler pulley way down in there. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but it hits in there. Where's my finger? Can't even see my finger. I lost my finger. There it is. Way down there, okay? So uh, I uh, put some WD-40 on it. No, that won't last, but that'll quiet it down long enough to go, hey, it quit. And then uh, I can go from there and go, well, that must have been it because it quit for a while. If it quits for a while, I'll know what it is. Then I can fix it. That's the whole problem, just trying to get the thing figured out where it's at so you can fix it. So uh, that's what we did today, WD-40 day. Here's one thing I forgot to videotape and mention, so I'm going to put it on right here. Going down the road, listening to this squeak, that only happens after it's gotten warmed up, I'm coasting down a hill and uh, put it in neutral. Squeak, squeak, squeak it goes. Then I decide to put it in four-wheel drive. Squeak, squeak, squeak it goes. Then I decide, well, let's turn the motor off so I can hear it better. So we're still coasting. It's still squeaking. As soon as I turn the key off, it stopped squeaking. And it is squeaking with the rotation of the tires. Sitting there idling, it does not squeak. It has to be moving. It has to be warmed up. Yeah, figure that one out. Uh, I'm trying to cash in all, all the, uh, the Go Me GoFundMe page and all that stuff, so we can take it to the shop and get that flex plate right here fixed, changed. Oops, sorry about the sunlight. Uh, you remember this part? I can't wait to see what he says about that because that's supposed to be high performance racing flex plate. Well, we did drop the truck off to Flash at Team Ramco and he explained everything to my satisfaction about this flex plate. You'll see that in the video where we take the truck there. But by the time we got there, the squeak was gone. I don't know. Just gone. We can't get it to do it again.